I got a really special pineapple sundae for you. This is one of the first of this brand new design by Pops himself. All right, so let me just play a little bit. All right, so a couple of things here. Let's just go over this one. By the way, I'm gonna call this one Fire's Eye because this one is a beautiful instrument. First of all, you notice, look at this flame, this curly spruce top here. It's like a premium spruce right here. Absolutely gorgeous. Then you have Koa wood on the sides. Look at this. I mean, this is where I got the name Fire's Eye. I mean, look at that Koa wood there on the back. You got the mahogany neck here. This is something new here. You got the Grover tuners. These are really nice tuners. And then you might've noticed, but we got a brand new headstock design. And this is gonna be the design moving forward with the pineapple sundaes. So I think it's really cool. And then it's got the uh, pineapple here. And then you have the ebony fretboard, which I think is cool. I really like the ebony, not only the way it sounds, but it's a real hardwood and it feels really nice when you're playing it. So this is really cool because this is one of the first ones that Pops has done like this with the new headstock, also testing out different woods like the spruce top on this particular one. All right, so I'm just gonna play a little bit so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, so let me do some finger picking stuff. I'm just gonna improvise a little bit something here. All right, so this thing sounds really good. The spruce top, what I think it does, it just, it just projects. I don't know if it's picking up on what I'm doing here, but it really is loud. I mean, you can just really, it's just popping off. The sound is just popping off the, the soundboard. But because of the koa wood, it's, it's got a nice warmth to it. Cause sometimes a spruce can be a little bit bright sounding, but I think that the coal wood is mellowing out that sound. So you're just getting a really nice instrument that really projects nicely. It's got a nice balance of the, um, the EQ. So it's got a little bit of the treble in the mids in there. It's not super bassy sounding, but it's also not too trebly. You know, sometimes ukuleles can sound a little bit too trebly. So anyway, this is really cool. Um, inside here, it just says, Pops and it's dated 1119. Um, so I'm very fortunate to have this one and and actually present it to you. So anyway, this one is Fire's Eye. Uh, you, you're gonna be totally blown away if you decide to get this one.